everybody, I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create this makeup look. I don't know how I'm gonna name it, but I've been inspired by some colors in a pretty old palette, I would say. If you're on my channel for the very first time, you should know that this is not the typical kind of makeup that I usually do. I'm more into very natural, very easy, very simple. If you have brown eyes, are lucky because you can use whatever colors you want for your eyeshadow. I used to hate my eyes when I was a kid because my mom has beautiful blue eyes and I wish I would inherit that from her. But in time, I learned to embrace it. And now with the makeup, I realized that I could play with it in a million ways. Before we get into this makeup, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and please click on that ring bell button. This way you will be notified when I'm posting a new video. I'm usually posting two videos per week, one at least, but usually two. So if you think that I'm not posting enough, it's because you're not notified. Ring bell button. Now, if you'd like to see how I've created this look, then please keep on watching. My hair was dirty. I had to put it in a ponytail because there is no time for washing and all that. I don't know about you, but it takes me like two hours to get ready, meaning shower, hair, and makeup. Like literally two hours. And if I need to self-tan, I need an extra half an hour. So poor Alex. I've already prepped my skin. And if you want to see the whole process, I've done a video about my skincare routine and, I've gone, and I'm gonna link it right here. However, I'm going to use a primer and I'll use this Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is a pore minimizing primer and I'm basically going to tap it like so wherever I have large pores. For me, it's around the nose area, like right here. It's better if you tap it than if you spread it like so a little bit on the forehead on the nose now after you apply this your skin it feels so smooth and so silky i'm going to go on with foundation and i'm going to be using this clinique beyond perfecting foundation and concealer this is a great foundation for those of you that are looking for a medium to full coverage i love their applicator this is actually my skin color, so that means it's not going to match my body, but it will match my face. And I'm going to bronze, so everything is going to be alright. And then with the beauty blender, yep, like I said, it's a little bit too light for me. It didn't used to be this light, I think I... I got tanned, but it's a great foundation. It lasts beautiful. Plus it's Clinique and I don't know if you know about Clinique, but they are always making sure that even their makeup products are filled with a lot of ingredients that are actually good for the skin. Definitely beautiful foundation. Like I said, this foundation is a little bit too light for me, but that doesn't bother me because I'm going to bronze and I'm gonna use a cream bronzer, one of my favorites, one of my all time favorites. And I've stopped using it when I discovered the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate. But this, guys, this is such a beautiful product. I used to be obsessed with it. Uh, this is the Soleil Teint de Chanel from Chanel. And as you can see, it's pretty used. It's very hard to actually hit the pan because it's a compact product. If you get this, it's going to last you for a very long time. I'm using it with a Morphe E20 brush. And I'm going to gently apply it on my cheekbones. When you first apply it, it's a little bit orange. I wouldn't advise you to use this if your skin is very, very fair. So I don't know if you can see, I'm creating like a three. I'm gonna apply a little bit in here as well. Just to warm up the skin, contour it a little bit, since this foundation is a bit too light. Always have your foundation brush or your beauty blender close by whenever you're working with skin products you know you might apply too much so you always want to come with a beauty blender or whatever you've applied foundation with and just tap over in case you've applied too much here's how the skin looks like after i've applied this bronzing base from chanel i didn't i haven't applied concealer yet i'm going to go on you know stay in the family apply some clinique 
Beyond Perfecting Super Concealer and I'm going to mix these two colors. Uh, one is 04 and the darker one is 18. This is a very hydrating concealer. It has a good coverage. It's not the most full coverage concealer that I've ever used but still it remains an amazing concealer. And by the way, they do have this apricot corrector which is a great product to use. If you have blue under eyes this is going to correct it I've used just a little bit because sometimes when you have blue dark circles and I'm sure it happened to you if you have this problem when you're applying your concealer it becomes gray and you're like damn it like it's it's not working like what am I what am I doing wrong well first you have to color correct in this situation and then you have to come with a concealer that will brighten that uh, area so I've mixed the two and I'm applying it with my finger okay now with a beauty blender or with a brush depends on your preference I make sure I blend including on my eyelid now I'm gonna set everything and I'm gonna use Laura Mercier translucent blue setting powder I will use this brush from Hakuhodo I have my beauty blender in my hand because I want to make sure there's no product that remain in the wrinkles when I set it with powder Wherever I'm going to apply highlighter, I'm not going to touch with powder. Oh, I know you're going to ask. My nail polish is this one from Orly. And it's Purple Crush. Next, I'll go on with this powder from Givenchy. This is in 02 Douce Saison. And I'm going to use a 135 brush from MAC. And I'll apply this wherever I've applied that cream base from Chanel. You can go on and apply the bronzing powder a little bit on the neck. Now Too Faced Peach Blur. This is a translucent smoothing finishing powder. It looks like this but it really when you apply it on the face it doesn't really have a color. It just has a sheen to it. And I will apply it with 127 brush from Zoeva. This is their Screen Queen collection. I absolutely love the finish of this powder a very very subtle glow now I'm going to get the cam closer and let's get into the eye makeup I don't know if you've seen me talking about this palette this is a custom palette that of course I've created myself I bought this palette from Z palette so I bought it empty and then I've put three palettes in here as a makeup artist, I don't want to carry a lot of eyeshadow palettes with me, so I created my own. And basically in, here, in these two rows, all of them are eyeshadows from the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner palette, which is an amazing palette, but I never went to use it because it was just big, it was uncomfortable. And to be honest, it was just not the kind of packaging that would attract me. On these two rows, I actually have a limited edition palette. It's the Master Palette by Mario. Uh, it's the one in collaboration with Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, that's also one of my favorite palettes. It has beautiful colors. And then some eyeshadows in here. And all the last row, they are from Modern Renaissance Palette. So I'm applying this eyeshadow in a crease with the J5529 brush. And then with this MAC 239 brush, I'm tapping this eyeshadow all over my eyelid up to the crease. Now I'm going to take this eyeshadow right here. I'm using an Anastasia Beverly Hills A14 brush. And I'm applying it this at the outer corner. Same color, I'm applying it at the base of my lashes with a 329 brush from Zoeva. I've taken a Morphe M53 brush and I just blend the edge. Since we are this close, I'm going to use this eyeliner coal from Givenchy. This is in number five. 
Now with the 238 brush from Zoeva, this is a very useful brush for details. I'm going to apply this eyeshadow close to the crease without covering that darker green. Now I'm going to take the Stella Liquid Eyeshadow in Diamond Dust. I'm slowly applying it wherever there is this lighter green. I'll take the dark green. Now I'm going to tie line using a black pencil. This one is from Diego Dalla Palma in 01. I think this is my first time using this, so let's hope it's not going to transfer or smudge. Mascara Better Than Sex from Too Faced on my upper lashes. On my lower lashes, I'm going to use the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. I only use this mascara on the lower lashes. I love it because it has a tiny brush. I've applied this really, really natural eyelashes for those of you that have very small eyes. These are from Velour Lashes, short and sweet. Now I'm about to overline my lips, like crazy overline. I'm using the Lip Liner Oak from MAC. Let me know if you want me to do a whole tutorial on how to have much bigger lips, much bigger looking lips using just makeup. I'd love to do that. On top of everything, I'm applying this Clinique 01 Normous Nude with my fingers. Now these lips are enormous. I love to try it. It's not like I do this every day, you know me. I do very simple, natural, quick, easy, fast kind of a makeup. Well, no. Let's take fast back because I'm not fast. But I do like to be a little bit extra. If you know, well, I have no hair. <laughs> do we want to use a blush? We do? Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I mean, why not? Gingerly from MAC with the Smith 118 brush right in the middle of that cheek on the apple i'm gonna use this clinique moisture surge face spray no fragrance which is good rapid hydration in a refreshing oil-free facial spray use under or over makeup that's exactly what i wanted to see For the glow, I'm going to use this Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush. I'll take this color right here with my usual Anastasia Beverly Hills brush in 823. Ooh, this looks wet. Mm, I love this highlighter. All right, guys. This is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And also let me know in the comment section. I love to read your comments. That's the first thing I do right after I post a video. Like I read all the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Instagram. I'm very active on Instagram. And I also share a lot of makeup products and makeup tricks. So check that out as well. And please let me know if you want me to do an in-depth tutorial about how to make your lips look crazy big. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Alex is around. Are you talking to me? Me with big lips? I don't feel anything. Still don't feel anything. I'm gonna grab my nose, I swear.